Take one. Welcome back to Alley in the Valley. I'm Allison Ball and this is season four finale. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Matter of fact, I'm so excited. I got a poor glass of wine. It's been amazing recipes we've had an amazing time new life new kitchen new recipes i am so grateful i am so blessed so for my finale i had to get in the most beautiful backyard in the world for my set <laughs> and today i'm going to make really easy but delicious kebabs so i'm going to do some chicken kebabs some filet mignon kebabs with beautiful colorful bell peppers super easy anybody can do it put it on the grill, let's get started. It's really simple. I need to dice up these beautiful bell peppers that I have, dice up the chicken, dice up the meat. And just remember, with kebab, if you're using the wooden ones, you gotta keep them in water so they don't burn. So I soak these babies overnight, or at least for an hour. So let's get back to, I'm just gonna um, cube up all the bell peppers, and then I'm gonna cube up the meat. And that's, and season everything. I mean, you can't get any simpler than just having kebabs. I love kebabs. I make kebabs out of everything, to be honest with you. Um, but at this backdrop where I am right now, it's just time to grill. You know, we're in LA, we're a little spoiled. I get to uh, be outside most of the year. And let me just tell you something. You see those mountains up there? I hike those babies. I do 10 mile hikes daily up those mountains. And when I'm up there, I'm meditating and God's talking to me about what my next move are. And I'm gonna tell you right now, people are like, they come to my house to hike with me, and we walk out the front door, and I say, we're going up there, and then they're really mad at me, because it really is like 10 miles. <laughs> I tell them they can do it. It's not a strenuous, like it's not totally up vertical, but it's a long hike, but wow. The other day, I was hiking up there, and it was deer, I see eagles. I actually have to get really serious about work now because you know I work in the music business. I sit in the house and just look at the mountains and I forget to even answer the phone. Yes, I do, it's just all beauty. So back to cooking. I'm super happy to be at season four. I'm really blessed to say that I've even made it this far. And at some point I will break down my last year, why I'm in a new house where I'm at in life. Not right now, because we're cooking and having fun. But um, I've had my own uh, challenges like everyone else. And one thing I can say about challenges, God gives us all what we can handle. But when you come through and you really, really focus on what you want, and I think that's what 2020 was. We had to focus on what, who we were as a person to grow and come out on the other end and do what you need to do to make yourself whole. Enough lecturing, let's get back to food. But anyway, so I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch of bell peppers up and then I'm gonna cut the chicken up and then I'm gonna thread it on our kebabs and then I'm gonna season it and then I'm gonna get it on the grill. All right, I'm gonna cut the chicken and then I'm gonna cut the meat and then I'm gonna thread them. So let's just take, this is um, chicken breast. I mean, no, chicken thighs I had. Most time you use chicken breast, but you know here at Alley in the Valley, I use what I have. I had chicken thighs, so that's what you're getting. But most people use chicken breast, whatever. I try to just use what's in my refrigerator so I'm not wasting food. 
And then when we thread the chicken, we just put a bell pepper. So it's a piece of chicken and a piece of bell pepper. Simple. Now you can do mushrooms, you can do whatever you want on here, bell peppers, which I love and which I have. You can do eggplant. Um, what else is good at threading? Onion, red onion. Simple, easy. Look at that. So cute, right? And then what I'm going to do is when I'm finished, you don't have to watch me do all these. I just season it on each side. And my seasoning is my essence. You can do salt and pepper if you don't have my essence, but trust me, you want my essence. And then at the end, I'm going to drizzle everything with olive oil so it doesn't stick on the grill. So, okay, let's get to threading. Look at these beautiful kebabs. I am so excited. Uh, I have my chicken and bell peppers with my essence and olive oil, and I have some filet mignon with the same setup, bell peppers. You can't get any more simple than this. We're just gonna put olive oil all over them so they don't stick on the grill. And it's time to start grilling, baby. Super easy, let's do it. All right, so now it's time for the action, grilling. <laughs> so let's put um, all the meat on the grill. Super simple. This is gonna sit on here for about, mm, I would say 10 minutes each side. It really depends on how hot the grill is. This grill is new for me. New house, new life, new grill. <laughs> so we'll see how long it takes and then we'll be ready to eat in this beautiful new environment that God has blessed me with. All right. Mm, so good. Rosemary is growing everywhere in the backyard and you know, Allie in the Valley, I gotta have my herbs. So I'm just gonna put a little rosemary on top of everything so it gets the infused rosemary smell. I'll take them off right when they're done. All right. Rosemary is the oldest herb probably in the world from back in medieval times. <laughs> and guess what? I'm adding it to the kebab just because I have it. So let's go. <laughs> Season four is complete. Cheers to my crew and getting it done in this amazing setting. I gotta drink a little bit of wine, but my kebabs are done. My filet kebabs, my chicken kebabs. Let's try the filet. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Grill masters, beware of Allie in the Valley. She's coming for you. Oh my God, so good. So, I'm trying not to eat because I'm talking, but whatever. Let's put a little extra salt, kosher salt, a little lemon. Lemon on everything kicks up the game. Yep. And, I'm sorry I'm eating. My sides, but you didn't see me make her. Corn on the cob, they're hot. Oh my God, so hot. Everything came out great. You know where to get the recipe? AllieInTheValley.com. Season four is done. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I, I love my new location. I love my crew. I'm about to feed my crew. All recipes you find on AllieInTheValley.com. And I'll see you on the next season of Allie in the Valley. And you never know where I'm going to wind up.